Okay, so with this video, I'm going to go through how to do week one assignment two in Photoshop. Now, as you probably realize already, I do recommend using Illustrator for this and all the assignments in the course because it's a graphic, pro uh, because Illustrator is a vector graphic program and we're only dealing with vector graphics throughout the course and it's the industry standard. So I think that this is a great time for you to learn how to use Illustrator because you'll be using it in the future in your careers. And if you can't afford to buy it right now, then just download a trial version and give it a go for the first few weeks. Uh, if, however, you can't do that or for whatever reason you must use Photoshop, all of the assignments are doable in Photoshop and in many cases I won't know which program you've used. The only problem with Photoshop is that it's not as intuitive and it's um, doing the assignments this way is more complex and more time consuming. Having said that, it's still possible to do them uh, in Photoshop. So we'll go ahead and do this one um, together in, um, in Photoshop for this video, uh, but I may not make many using Photoshop. Anyway, so we want to make some gradations and because we don't have a blend tool uh, like we do in Illustrator, I think the easiest way to get the gradation is using the gradient tool. So you want to create an area um, of uh, you know a nice long rectangle that has, and we'll do that down here, that has a gradient in it that we can transfer directly from the gradient to the swatches up here in the gradation to make a nice blend. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Here we got we have a gradation in hue at maximum saturation. So we want to choose our first and last colors of the gradation first. And we'll do that. We'll use this um, these swatches at the bottom of the tool bar here. So um, I'm just clicking on the top one to find a nice first color, and I'm going to go with this um, rich yellow here. And then for the last color, I'm going to click on the background color here and we'll see if we can get a gradation that goes right through to a blue-green. And click OK. And then I'm going to use the gradient tool and to find the gradient tool, it's under the um, paint bucket tool unless uh, you might see it already. In fact, it's on top of the paint bucket tool. But you just need to click and hold. Um, that down in order to get the gradient tool if you don't see it there already. And you'll see up here in the top left hand corner that we've already got some gradient options happening. But you want to open the gradient option dialog box just to make sure you're getting a nice blend there. Okay, and we are indeed getting a really nice blend from uh, our foreground color to our background color and that's happening automatically. So I don't think we need to change that at all. We'll just click OK. And then we want to draw in a rectangle using the marquee tool up here and apply that gradient to this rectangle. So I'm going back to the gradient tool and drawing a line with the gradient tool from left to right in that rectangle that's as wide as my swatches here. Now I just need to translate all of these colors into the swatches up there. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is deselect. So I'm going um, select, deselect. You can also go command D to do that. Then I'm going to use my paint bucket tool. So um, I have to click on the gradient tool and hold it down to get the paint bucket tool because these two tools are on the same um, button in the toolbar. But from now on, I'm just going to use the um, keyboard letter G and Shift G to move between the gradient tool and the paint bucket tool. And while the paint bucket tool is active, if I click on the option key, I get the eye picker. So I'm just going to click on the eye picker and pick up the yellow here and release the option key to get the paint bucket tool back and just fill that by clicking on that swatch right there. Now I'm just going to go directly below each of these swatches, pick up a color and bring it up here. Pick it up and click it there. So I'm picking up with the eyedropper tool and filling in with the paint bucket tool. And once again, I'm just clicking the Option key to get the eyedropper and releasing it to get back to my paint bucket tool. And then we have a really lovely gradation going from a deep yellow to um, a lovely blue-green. Okay, the next thing we want is to 
do a gradation in value maintaining fixed hue. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this gradation that I have down here. So to do that I'm going to select it. I'm going to go back to my original swatches of black and white and then I'm going to delete it. Okay, now gradation in value meaning fixed hue. Now that means I need to go from white to black through a color. So I'm going to start with white, end in black and have a color in the middle. So all I need to do is to switch these around using the double arrow tool in the bottom left hand corner and then I will go to my gradient tool and you'll see here that I'm automatically getting a gradient from white to black but we need to get um, have a color in the middle there so once again I need to click on that gradient up there to get the gradient editor and then I need to choose a color for um, to put in the middle so I'm just going to click right here in the middle where I want to put my extra color and then I'm going to click on this color tab here to um, get the select stop color um, dialog box and I'm going to choose I think I'll choose a nice violet, blue violet here and I'll click OK and you see automatically I get a really beautiful blend going from white through to the violet that I chose and through onto black. So I click OK. I'm using the marquee tool or M on the keyboard to draw another rectangle and I'm selecting G again to get the gradient and then we get the gradient again. Now I'm deselecting Command D and then I'm going back to Shift G which is my paint bucket tool. Remember, if I click on Option, I get the eyedropper tool, which I'm going to use to pick up the hue and take it up here. So Option to pick up the hue, releasing Option to get the paint bucket tool back. And here I am filling in the entire row of hues here, going from white to black through violet, and a nice purple. Okay, once again I'm going to delete this, so I'm selecting it with my marquee tool or M on the keyboard, making sure I have white in the background again by clicking on the default black and white options down here and deleting it. 